That's right, I like my girls, baby dub. Hello, Dope Nation. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I've been wanting this palette since it launched, so I am super excited. If you guys are ready to see my opinion on the palette, continue to watch. The Urban Decay Born to Run palette retails for $49. They say the Born to Run eyeshadow palette offers endless escapes in one travel ready package with 21 shades and a full size mirror, it lets you choose your own adventure. This is how the box looks before you open the eyeshadow. And then, boom! Could we get into this packaging? This is the front, and then this is the back. Honestly, when Urban Decay showed everybody this palette for the first time, what caught me was the pictures. Because I love to travel. That's one thing about me. I love to travel. Take me any. Um, don't take me anywhere. But take me anywhere. So you have like Paris. You have Vegas on here. These palm trees look like somewhere in California. Then you have the Golden State Bridge. You have um, the statue from Machu Picchu, Peru. You have New York. Like I just live, 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 live for travel pictures. This is how the inside looks. Boom, look at this mirror. They were not lying about having a big mirror at all. But look at these shades. I don't know guys, it was something about this palette. Like first, the packaging caught my eye because you know I love to travel. But these colors, it was like you have a whole bunch of colors you could choose from. You could do any look with this palette. Like you have your pinks here, you have your orange here, then you have your dark staple dark brown, you have blues, you have green, then you have your um like camel tones, you have a peach, then you have your light shades right here, you have shimmers, you have a lighter brown here, then you have a purple in the center. <laughs> oh guys like look at this palette. I'm super excited. Like, let's dig in. Let's dig in. I don't know what look I'm going for, of course. If it was up to me, I would do a whole orange eye, but I do that all the time. So I'm going to try to switch it up, do something new. I'm going to go in with Riff. Riff is right here. And I'm just going to dust that all over my eye as a transition color. As a transition color. Ooh, that's a lot. Just dust it all on my eyes. I kind of want to play with these blues and greens over here, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go in with punk. This brown right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Okay, so this is how the eyes look now. So, I'm going to do something very outside of my normal. I've never done a cut crease before. <laughs> so, I'm going to attempt to do a cut crease. So, let's see how this is going to work. I do not know how this is going to go, guys. Oh gosh, we will see. I'm gonna go with my MAC Concealer Palette. I'm gonna be taking the lightest shade. I have a hooded eye, so that's why I don't do the whole cut crease situation. I don't know, I don't think this is the right time to be cutting the crease while I'm doing a nice shadow review, but we'll see how this works. All right. Whew. How does that look? I don't know. This is so new for me. Alright, I guess 
that's how it's gonna be. I'm going to set this with, hmm, Weekender? Yeah, I'll go in with Weekender. Oh my God. This is, woo! Fallout City in here. All right, so I'm going to set it. I just think it looks weird on me, I don't know. It's like basically I'm making a whole new eye shape for myself. So it just, I don't know, it just looks weird. All right, now I'm going to go in with Radium, which is the dark blue. And I'm going to put that at the edge. Wow, this is pretty. That's pretty. Very pigmented too. Now I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to go into Big Sky, which is the lighter blue right here. This is nice. Very pigmented. I'm going to blend the two together where they meet. Like that. So I'm gonna put more of song, no, not song, song. Where did I get song from? I'm gonna put more radio back on the outer edge. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna go back in. With nothing on my brush, I'm just gonna blend two. Right? Okay. So we have that. Now I'm going to take Stranded and I'm going to put it on my inner corner. That's pretty. I'm just going to blend Stranded into Big Sky. So it's a seamless blend. Ooh. All right, then I'm going back in with the other colors that I use and I'm just going to blend the rest together. doing a cut crease and I think <laughs> I'm addicted wow that opens my eye way more too like I like I can't believe I could do a cut crease uh, all this time I've been trying to stay away from cut creases because I kept on saying I have hooded eyes not gonna look right
These are the eyes. Ooh. I never thought I could do it. But that's why you never tell yourself that you can't because you could. Right? <laughs> Motivational section. Don't tell yourself you can't because you could. All right, so now I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I'm going to come back so we could get on to these bottom lash lines. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is how my face is looking now. These are the eyes living all right so now we're going to get started on the bottom lash line so i'm just going to repeat the steps that i did up top on the bottom And the look is done. <laughs> These are the eyes. I am now I'm going to swatch some colors for you guys. I'm gonna put them right here. The first color I'm going to swatch is you know I can't resist <laughs> this orange right here. The name of this orange is Baja. Ba Ja. And it's like a burnt orange. So I'm going to put it right here. Ooh. Ooh. So that's Baja. Next, I'm going to swatch Accelerate. And Accelerate is the color right next to it. It's a shimmer burnt orange. that right here oh so pretty now I'm going to go into guilt trip which is this purple right here who is like a, a iridescent kind of purple like a purplish pink all right, let's swatch another matte. So I'm going to swatch Hellride. And Hellride is this pink one right here. Ooh, it's pretty. And that's, oh, now it's just getting awkward. So, yeah. So, is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette worth it? I think you guys already know what I'm going to say. Of course it's worth it. I'm in love. Just like I thought I was going to be. I love it. You could get a whole bunch of looks out of this. Warms, cools, blues, purples, orange. You know, you got your black. You have a peach in here. And you get a big old mirror like I've never gotten a palette with a big mirror like this like I'm obsessed with the mirror and of course it's travel size friendly the palette is not that big if you want to bring another eyeshadow palette you can always do that but I think you will be fine traveling with this palette alone and you get 18 shades you can't go wrong with 18 shades so that's good because you know some palettes they only come with 10 some palettes they only come with four, some palettes they only come with 12. $49 for 18 shade palette. I don't think that's bad at all. As you can see by the swatches, the colors are very pigmented. The mattes are nice, the shimmers are nice. Everything is nice. 
my blue eyes. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.